So today, I'm going to introduce you to uh, live gunfire over a puppy. Now, if you've been watching my puppy training series, you know that I've been working with two puppies. And uh, one puppy is Izzy and the other one uh, is Brixton. And Brixton, even though I think the more talented dog in terms of training is behind Izzy. And so today we're going to introduce Izzy to live gunfire. Let me just uh, underscore that this is the place where most inexperienced uh, hunting dog trainers, this is where they ru ruin their dogs. Somewhere along this phase they do something stupid. So let me just tell you right now, we never introduce gunfire at the same time that we're introducing birds. Birds come later. Instead, because Izzy is now already reliably retrieving a small dummy, I'm going to introduce the gunfire while we're throwing a dummy. She should be distracted by the uh, movement of the dummy and not even pay attention to the gunfire. But the point is, is if there is a negative reaction to the gunfire by the puppy, then I haven't ruined that puppy's chances with birds by associating that bird with the gunfire. I hope that makes sense. Instead, uh, I'm going to introduce the gunfire with something that uh, is a little bit less uh, important, especially as a dog gets older, we, we transition from dummies to birds. So you'll see what I do here in a moment. And uh, again, if you're going to get anything right, this is the lesson you need to get right. So today, we're going to grab our small dummy. I've got a dummy launcher. And the dummy launcher is a valuable tool. I use it for puppy training, gunfire, and I'm going to load up a 22 caliber shell and just have that ready to go. The other thing, nice thing about uh, dummy launcher is that here, let's say in a, in a month or two with Izzy, uh, she's going to be ready where I can start shooting that dummy out 40 or 50 yards and it'll be a nice retrieving exercise at the same time that the gunfire is going off. So, anyway, let's get Izzy out. I'll show you what we're going to do with her. So we're going to just use the same field I've been using. We're just going to walk out here, let Izzy do what Izzy does. And she's hunting. She's not, you know, hunting birds yet. She doesn't know what a bird is yet. I haven't introduced any game at all. Uh, if she chases a sparrow or something like that, more power to her. But you can see she's covering her ground. She's got zeal. And she comes in and checks with me every once in a while. And... Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to get her attention. I'm going to throw the dummy, and when she's chasing the dummy, then I'm going to fire the 22 caliber blank behind my back. So, again, we want to do it simultaneous with her chasing the dummy. Izzy! And she didn't... She didn't go far enough. Let's go help her. We're going to go help her with that dummy. She, got to, she has to go out far enough because the wind is at her back. Let's see if she'll just find it. Use her nose and find it. I'm just going to stay in the vicinity. She found it. Good girl. Good girl. I'm going to walk away. She's got the dummy. I'm not calling her. <laughs> and I'm just going to kneel down. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Give. Good girl. So what did we notice about that little exercise? What we noticed is she didn't pay attention to the gunshot at all didn't bother her. She didn't even notice the gun went off. So we're going to do it again. And this time, I hope I'll get a cleaner retrieve from her. 
where she actually sees the dummy go down and goes to retrieve it. So I'm going to load up another shell, put it in there, we'll do the whole thing again. Just walk her out there. The more retrieving you do with a puppy, the, the greater their tendency is to stay close. Because you become the source of that dummy. And so they become sticky. That's a phase the dog's going to go through until you introduce them to game. So you'll notice she knows I've got the dummy now. So she's sticking very close. What do you think, Izzy? What do you think? What do you think? Izzy! Good girl! Good girl! Yep! Yep! There you go! Wheel her in. Pat her up. Pat her up. Take the dummy. Good girl. So, obviously she's a young dog. She's not coming straight in with the dummy, but that's okay. I can live without her not coming straight in with the dummy. And there you have it. Puppy's first introduction, introduction to gunfire, and it was a complete non-event. Now, I have been clapping already. So, the fact that I've been clapping over the pups I, I think helps to make that introduction to gunfire a non-event. Alright, so we're done for the day.